fucking shit! Why? God! Why? Fuck me! Fuck! Ah! Ah! God damn it! Fuck! I can see you, I can hear you, I can feel you, can you feel me? Only the pure of heart can feel me, are you pure? Welcome to my creation, welcome to my world. The world is my creation, and you are invited to glimpse inside, to know what kind of world you're living in. Will it be beautiful? Questions of this sort can only be answered by seeing, so watch and learn the truth. Watch. Doesn't that figure? I guess that solves that problem. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Calm down. I am calm. I am. I really am. Okay, be cool. Relax. Fucker. Who's your daddy? You're your own fucking daddy. Everything's gonna be fucking good. Everything's gonna be sweet like candy. Everything's gonna be crunchy like nuts. <laughs> Come down, bitch. Relax, relax, relax. Shut the fuck up. Everything's gonna be fucking chocolate. Sweet chocolate. Everything's gonna be sweet like fucking, fucking pretzels. No, fucking pretzels aren't sweet. Fucking pretzels aren't fucking sweet. <laughs> Cool, be cool, calm down. I am calm, I am. Yeah, I'm calm, fucking calm, but so fucking central. <laughs> Skipper, you fat sack of shit! Floyd, it's me, Tito. Tito? I ain't know no Tito. I fuck off from my crib before I bust a cap in your ass. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I must have the wrong apartment or something. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Tito. Come on in. We'll watch cartoons or something. It's been a while, man. I figured you ran off with that chick you were dating. No, I'm still here. Oh, that's good to know. So, what brings you to my home on a Monday morning? Need money? Dabbling in drugs again? Well, God no, man. I'm not touching that shit ever again. Unless I don't really feel like it. I'm just telling you the truth that they ain't too far away. If I had to guess, I'd say you were drugging. Look at you, man. You look like shit on the sidewalk. I smell like that, too. I promise you, I am clean right now. Alright, so you just want to hang out? Maury Povich is going to be on in a couple minutes. You can watch that. Fuck no, man. I don't want to watch Mar Mari, Mary, fuck that person. Fuck no, fuck TV. Is there something on your mind, Tito? Oh, God, man. I don't know what to do anymore, man. So, wait. I'm fucked. Are you on uppers? I'm not in any drugs, you son of a bitch. Let it go! Okay. Let it fucking go.
I think you could really use a downer. How about uh, an Excedrin PM chase with some NyQuil? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Not by the looks of it. Look, I am calm. I am cool. I am centered. I am everything and more. Okay. I believe you. Maybe you should eat something. Uh, maybe you're right. You have any cornflakes? I don't know. Why don't you go check it out? Have any milk? Oh shit, man. I'm fresh out. You're gonna have to use something else. What else can I use? So you gotta tell me what's going on? Let me eat my cereal first, please. No skin off my cock. Beat away. show you something. Okay. Let's see it. Let me eat my cereal first. No problem. Where is this thing I gotta see anyway? In my trunk. Alright, when I open this thing, you gotta promise me you're not gonna freak out. Come on, Tito. Look who you're talking to. I'm Floyd. I can handle anything. Come on, open her up. Close that fucking thing! Oh shit. Was that what I think it was? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I don't know, I made a mistake. I should say you did. Oh man, this is so fucked. This is so fucked. Like you weren't gonna freak out. I'm beyond freaked out, man. What are you gonna do about it? I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. You better start fucking thinking about it, man, because this is some serious shit, dude. Serious shit! I know! I know! Let's go back inside. Okay. Explain yourself. Where to begin, man? Where to begin? I fucked up. And I'm in deep shit. Deep motherfucking shit. Tell me how it happened. Was it an accident? Oh, it was a lot of things, man, but it was not an accident. So, you did it on purpose. You meant to do that. Yeah. 
fuck? Man, you must have been really pissed off. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know what I was feeling. I was feeling something. I don't know. Alright, just start from the beginning. I know the ending. So just tell me the beginning and the middle, and I'll figure the rest out for myself. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry, God. Well, let me know if God accepts your apology, all right, Tio? I want to take it all back, man. Well, Tio, I got news for you. Life doesn't have a rewind button, so you're going to have to figure out a way to deal with this. And since you made me an accessory, I'm inclined to do something about it as well. Just tell me why, man. The suspense is fucking killing me. God, this is so fucked up. I already fucked up big time this time. Yeah, you fucked up. That goes without saying. Just tell me why. Why? Why the fuck would you kill your girlfriend and stuff her in the trunk of your fucking car? I don't know. I don't. You don't know? Well, if you don't know, Tito, then nobody knows. Look, I didn't want to get you involved. But who else am I supposed to turn to, huh? The fucking police? Huh? Friends? What fucking friends? I don't have any. That's all, you, that's all I've got. You, man. Tito, just lay out the details. Esmeralda must have been way out of line for you to do what you did to her face. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she was. She was. All right. So if you had to do it to shut her up and there was no other way, then that's the way it goes. That's right. How about this? Let's be rational adults here. What do you say? We go to the table over there, and you tell me a story. You just lay out all the events that led up to and including Esmeralda's untimely demise. Is that fine with you? How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Let's sit. All right, let's pretend this table is my apartment. Yeah, it's about the size of your place. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, look. Let's pretend this is me and this is her. No, I'm okay. No, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, you know. This is me and this is her. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? okay. Alright, good. Now, I'm here doing my thing and she's here doing her thing. Yes? 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 Yeah. Alright. Now, okay, so remember, this is me and this is her. Now, now I'm here doing my thing. She's doing here her, her uh, little female thing here. So she's in the back. Have you been paying any fucking attention to this fucking obvious, isn't it? Uh-huh. Alright, so I am here, and she's here. We're doing our things. Now, alright, so she goes over here, right? And I'm still here, but she's there now. She's not here anymore, alright? Yes? Yes? Right. Okay, now, I go from here, go where she was, but she's not there anymore because she went over here, like, five minutes before, okay? Yeah? Alright, okay. now... She goes back over here. Now we're there for a few minutes, but we don't really talk. We just see each other, you know. So, you know, anyway. We go over here, but I go there first. And then she goes over there. But for a second, I'm not there, but then I come back. Yeah? Yes? Yes? I'm following you. Cool. All right. Now, while we're there, this allows us to exchange certain dialogue that's very nice and polite, you know, friendly. But that friendly dialogue goes from being very nice and friendly to treacherous and mean-spirited and ugly. And I just can't handle that kind of dialogue. So I end that kind of dialogue in a very not subtle way. And? And I, I stabbed her a lot. I stabbed her a lot. What's a lot? <laughs> I don't know, 10, 15, 20 times. I don't know, I didn't keep count. I was crying throughout the whole damn thing. Man, you should always cry when a fine piece of ass like that gets wasted. What'd she say to get you all angry? I don't want to think about it. I want to think about happy thoughts right now. Well, happy things are going to have to wait. We got ourselves a problem that needs solving. I know, I know it's so fucked up. Do you have any ideas? What the fuck are you talking about? You brought her here. You should have had this figured out already. Alright, we could bury her in the desert. <laughs> right? That's an idea. Got a shovel on you? Uh, no. Well, that makes two of us. Uh, do you have any friends that might have a shovel? 
Maybe, but if I call up some asshole, he's gonna give me a wad of shit about what I need to shovel for. And I'm not gonna tell him it's to bury your bitch. Hey, don't call her that, man. That's not cool. Your female dog, then. Look. I don't exactly have friends that keep this shit on the down low. If your girl's in the trunk of your car and anyone else other than myself is privy to that information, then everyone's gonna know about it because people don't know when to shut the fuck up. Especially on these matters. What about JJ? Are you shitting me? JJ's got the biggest mouth in the United States. He knows when to keep quiet. Besides, I thought he was in jail. Nah, he got out of jail. Whatever. Look, he owes me a favor. He owes you? Since when the fuck does anyone owe you anything? His brother was overdosing on ecstasy and I kinda helped him out. And uh, he owes me, he'll keep quiet. Alright, so call JJ. Alright, um, do you have his number? No. Okay, call Brody, I'm sure he has it. I don't wanna wake him up, man, he's probably sleeping. Tito? It's 10.30 in the morning. Brody should be up and at him, and if he isn't, that's something a little wake-up call won't fix. Alright, uh, can I use your phone? And what about your cell? I do it out. Why would you throw away your cell phone? Give you ear cancer, dude. Phone's by the couch. It's me, Tito. Tito, you bastard! I was just having the most wonderful fucking dream! No, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I didn't mean to wake you up. Yeah, well, do you have any idea how late I was up last night? Um, no. I didn't go to bed until 5.30 in the morning, Captain Shithead. Wow. That was pretty late. Hey, listen, I happened to misplace JJ's number. I was wondering if you had it. Yeah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Let me root through the garbage. I oh, don't know, no, I remember it. Yeah, alright. 3.40, yeah. Alright, got it, man. Thanks, man. Okay, now let's forget JJ's number for just a second here. And let's talk about us. Why don't you ever call me anymore, man? You can't just up and call me after Cree knows how long of not talking to me and then just assume we're still great pals. Oh. I didn't know you felt that way. Well, I'll try to call you more often. You bet your Nana's sweet potato pie you will. Yeah, but you never call me either. Look, that's not important. What's important, Tito, is our friendship. We used to be so tight, man. We used to play hopscotch together. We used to eat fucking muffins together, man. We used to have a grand old time chatting, just having a blast. Alright, look, what about this? What about if we promise to call each other like once a week? You know, just so we can say hi. Now that's using your brain. Alright, man. Alright, well, thanks for... Oh, shit, you know what? I forget the number again. Could you give it to me again? No, I forget it too after this delightful little conversation. Let me tap the mental archives. Yeah, I got it. 4962? Alright, 4962. Thanks, Brody. Yeah, now listen. Don't screw me on this agreement, man. I really want you to keep your promise. That's what people do when they make a promise. They keep it. Okay. You know, a wise man once said, if you keep your promises, you keep your friends. So I'll leave you on that note. All right, bye. Fuck. Why didn't you two just have phone sex? I could have waited in the other room. I can't call him. What the hell are you talking about? I can't call JJ. I don't. I don't call him anymore. I don't like calling people. I don't call anymore. I mean, I get all nervous. I forget what to say. I say the wrong thing. Right, give me the phone, then. Give it to me. What's his number? Fuck! I forgot it again. God, shit! Fuck! Call Brody again. No, I don't want to call him again. That's rude, dude. That's redundant. Fine, I'll call him. Jeez, 
Again! Who the fuck is this? Brody. It's Floyd. Floyd? I don't know any fucking Floyds. Yeah, you know me. Bullshit. Why don't you prove it to me then? If I didn't know you, why would I have your phone number? Maybe you got it from some commercial company. How the fuck do I know? Suppose you're a telemarketer and you're trying to sell me sacred oils or fucking mustard from India. No, I'm not a telemarketer. Stop fucking with me. All Just right? so you know, I'm not going to buy any oils what? or lotions or any of that shit from your pansy ass. You got it? Are you busting my nuts? What? Are you busting my nuts? I don't know what the fuck you're talking Good about. Good question. Are you busting my nuts? Yes. All right, so stop. Okay. Look, all I need is JJ's number. You got it? <laughs> Funny you should ask me, because Tito just called me and he wanted the number. Yeah, too. I know Tito just called you up and asked for it, but the son of a bitch keeps forgetting Listen, it. Listen, Floyd, there's something you should know. Tito, he's a special guy. And special guys, you know, they're just not as smart as guys like you and uh, us. And, well, he's just not all there. Yeah, I know he is. Okay, then cut him some slack. Just give me the number. Alright, fine. You got a pen and paper handy? Uh, no, I don't have to get a pen for it. Just tell me. Ugh. Your attitude is making me tight in the pants. Stop mouthing off and give me the number. Jesus Christ, man. Alright, fine. Here it is. Okay, thank you. Now listen. There's a lot you need to learn about life, and I'd be happy to teach Look, I, I don't have time for this. Excuse me? I don't have time for this. Now listen, pal, there's a little thing here called common courtesy. And then when you ask me for something, and I politely give it to you, and you don't say thank you... I did say thank you. Yeah, I said thank you for the number. Uh, I'm sorry, I must not have heard you. Could you reiterate? Brody, thank you for JJ's number. And without the attitude? I'm not giving you attitude. I'm not. Not from where I'm standing. From where I'm standing, it's like you're this rude little boy who's upset because... He just found out that Santa Claus isn't real, and he's all upset about it. And frankly, Floyd, that makes me sad. Okay. I wish I could comfort you. Hey, Brody, you know what? What? Hello? Hello? He hung up on me, that cocksucker. Hello? Hello? Fuck. Hey, son? Yeah, Dad? Have you seen my Cabbage Patch doll? It's my doll, Dad! And it's not a doll, it's a plaything! That Brody's a rude motherfucker. Hey, it's not his fault. His uncle molested him when he was a little kid. Well, his uncle should have taught him proper manners instead. Hmm. It's not answering. JJ! Yeah, it's Floyd. What's going on? Look, I need to ask you a little favor. Do you have a shovel that I can borrow? What for? The body. Look, you're just talking bullshit. All right, look, if you want to know what's going on, why don't you just drop by over to my apartment and see for yourself. All right. Okay. Bye. So what, does he have his shovel? Is he coming or what? He's coming over to help. He said he'd be about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but you never know with this guy. So, all we can do now is sit on our asses and wait. Wanna watch some lesbian porn while we wait? Fuck yeah. Alright, let's do it. Do you have any gay porn? This is my creation. The horrors of the world are of my own making. The beauty is of my making. I created the heartbeat. I created the touch, the feel of all things. You might deny it now, but soon you will see. You will all see. One day, you will know why the sky is blue, and why we die, and why we live. This has all been preordained. And you all know in time why this is.
JJ. No, it's dumb. I need a place to hide. Okay. Flash can make it. Judge Judy for this shit. Better be good. Oh, trust me. I think this is worth missing Judge Judy for. Spit her out. I'm all ears. What's going on? I think it's better if you hear from Tito. Hey, Tito! Why don't you talk to JJ about Esmeralda? Hey, JJ. What? So what's the freak story? I got no fucking clue. Hey, Tito, what the hell's going on? I think we're going to be sick. <coughs> <coughs> hey, listen, Tito, why don't you just come out, we'll talk to JJ, and we'll figure something out. All right? All right. All right, what's the false alarm anyway? False alarm. Okay. Welcome back. This bastard looks like he's been crying his eyes out. I uh, have. Newsflash. Big boys don't cry. But this one does. Yeah, Tito's just a big softy, ain't he? Hey, you want something to drink? Got any tang? No. Never mind then. So what's going on, Tito? I uh, got Kool-Aid. Forget about it. So what's happening? I killed this Esmeralda. Yeah, this fucked up. What about my taco? I'm serious! So am I. This taco's fucking good. No, I read her not. Fair enough. So how'd you kill her? You stab her? Strangle her? Disembowel her? Shoot her? What? I stabbed her. Oh, man, that's fucked up. I never really liked her anyway. She was a mouthy little slut. Don't call her that. My deepest apologies, killer. We gotta you... get rid of the body. Where is it? In my trunk. Take me to it. To what? The body, genius. Oh, okay, follow me. Yeah, Floyd, come here. What? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Fucker. Or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, whatever. Shut the fuck up! You know what they just opened down the street? A restaurant. You know what the name of the restaurant is? Gandhi's. Who in the name of Tony Danza's ass here would open up a restaurant named Gandhi's? I mean, come on. The name itself makes me want to lose my appetite. Gandhi's. What a joke. I mean, would you eat at a place named Gandhi's? I don't know. Well, you should know, because you like that kind of food. Look, you son of a bitch, I just killed my girlfriend. You want to fucking talk about it? Remember the fucking time your fucking puppy died and you cried for fucking days? You're so compassionate. Why can't you so fucking compassionate for a fucking human being? Dog, human, they're completely different beings. I mean, come on. Give me a break. This is the fucking point. You knew her. You fucking talked to her. You even fucking had a crush on her in sixth grade, and you're fucking treating this like it's a fucking broken toy or something. What are you talking about? I never saw her day in my life. Are you high? Lay off the pot, my friend. You know Esmeralda? It's Esmeralda. That was your mom. JJ, what's wrong with you? Don't you fucking know what the fuck we're talking about right now? Well... That completely turns the entire thing around. I thought I was your mom, so I didn't really care because I didn't know her. No, but fuck you. We even talked about it. What's this? What the, what the fuck is your fucking mind? I don't know, son. May I call you son? No, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Let's look at this dead body. Fine. Yep, that's a dead body if I've ever seen a dead body. You did a number on her, didn't you? I guess I did. You got her wrapped in. My shower curtain. It's a mighty nice shark, and I gotta get me one of those. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, it's a perfectly fine shark, Kurt. Dude, I got it years ago. What the fuck does this matter? Shit! I'm just kidding with you. I mean, come on. We gotta figure out something to do with this body. Do you know anyone that could help us out? I don't know, like... No, I know this cat. His name's Benson. 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 He's got these dogs, right? They're killer dogs. We chopped up the body. We feed it to the dogs like it's puppy chow. Oh, I don't want to fucking chop her off. And she deserves better than being fed to fucking dogs. Well, you killed her. You made pretty sure she's not going to feel anything for the rest of time. I, I'm a terrible person. Nobody's arguing with you on that one. I'm, I'm fucked! You can be saved! We can all be saved. He can save us all. Did you see us in that trunk, you motherfucker? The contents of that trunk do not concern me. They are all Kareen's creations. What are you talking about? Creenology, friend. Salvation. What? Creenology? Perhaps you should be looking for it. 
Hey, get the fuck out of here, faggot. Okay, then. Fuck you, my friend. Get a look at this guy. Look, look at him all seductively like you want him to fuck me. I mean, come on. Don't, don't bother that. Throw that away. It's just some religious propaganda. They're denying their own homosexuality. Just, I'm unable to see you anymore. Ronaldo, but why? It's my wife. She has cancer. Cancer? Wonderful! That means we could be together! No, Jessica. I love my wife. She can be saved. But the only way to save her is to a brain transplant. And there's one, only one compatible donor. Renato, oh, Renato, who, who's the donor? I am. Uh, JJ, look, I know I fucked up bad, but, <coughs> excuse me, but I think I'm a bad person for what I did. I also had a killing somebody in the but Including the killing? Yeah. But I still love you, Jessica. Mm. Mm. What's the verdict? Yeah, it's a fucking mess, that's for sure. Are you gonna help us here? Of course. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't? Okay, what are we doing? Tito doesn't really like the idea, but we can chop up the body and take it to these killer dogs for lunch. We're feeding her to dogs. Exactly. Sounds good to me. Tito, what do you feel about this whole situation? He's lost his fucking marbles. He just figured it out. Hey, Tito! You know, this is your damage and you're gonna have to repair it. Okay, I will! JJ, where are these dogs? You have to go to this guy named Benson. Benson. You got his phone number? He doesn't have a phone. Even if he did, he wouldn't answer. He doesn't trust voices to people he can't see. Mm -hmm. You have to talk to him face to face. Are you going to take me to him? No can do. Because some pretty pussy come over on lunchtime. Really can't squander the opportunity. Okay, you got his address? Okay, it's 8888 Silver Marshall Boulevard. You know where that is? I got a pretty good idea. Okie doke. Anyway, it should be no problem then. I'll come back later with an axe or machete or something so I can chop up this lovely young lady and feed it to the hounds of hell. Sounds good to me. Alright, so long, friend. So long. Till then. Hey, Tito, are you coming with me to see this Benson guy? I don't feel good. I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. Alright, but you're helping me and JJ chop Esmeralda up. Okay. Ain't that just like an American I'm trying to find someone else to clean up your mess? God, will you just listen to yourself? You are being quite pathetic. I'm not pathetic. Can you tell me, what are you acting like? I'm just being myself. Ha! <laughs> you haven't been yourself in a long time. No way are you going to start acting like yourself now. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I killed her. You didn't do a goddamn thing. You couldn't kill a cockroach, even if it was dead. I killed her. Why? Because she was dragging you down, man. After what she did to you, that was doing you a favor. So I killed that spike. So beautiful. Only on the outside. On the inside, she was nothing but a deformed circus freak. I simply made the outside reflect the inside. You should be thanking me for that. She didn't deserve that! She deserved a hell of a lot more than that, man. I should have skinned her alive. I should have fucking yanked her teeth out. I should have fucking popped out her fucking eyeballs and skull fuck her! But I didn't. I held back because I'm a gentleman. And besides, you can't go around school fucking people. The public won't stand for it. I wish I could kill you. Oh, you can kill me. 
but I will require you to kill yourself first. And you know what? Go ahead. I won't feel a goddamn thing. Or you're gonna be doing stuff and touching yourself. Have you found your religion? What if I told you that there was no such thing? If you were a faithful member, you'd be greatly upset by such a comment. But what if those emotions you were expressing were non-existent as well? What would you say then? The truth is, you can't say anything, because I can anticipate the pre-programmed reaction from miles away. So what is the use of saying anything? No matter how truthful my wisdom is, it will not change anyone's mind. Hence, the reason there is no order in the world, no matter how hard we try to achieve it with our religions, our democracies, our dictatorships, and our words. And what is this language we speak, these sounds emitting from our mouths? Who decided what these words would be, and what they meant? What is the root of language? How did I come about creating this fascinating phenomenon? Well, the answer is... No. Does Benson live here? Yes. What? You look familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, I just knocked on the door a minute ago. Oh, that's right. What the fuck? All right, what are you selling? I'm not selling anything. Are you a Mormon missionary? No, I'm not a Mormon missionary. Look, I just want to see Benson. Oh, that's right. Please come in. I have found Jesus, you know. Yeah, that's nice. Is he here or not? Well, of course he is. Well, can I see him? You sure you don't the police? I'm positive. Hello? 
I don't know who you are, but I'm interested. Here. I have some licorice. What the fuck? I don't want any licorice. Come on now. I've never known an American who would refuse some delicious red rub licorice. Well, there's a first time for everything. Too true, new friend. Too true. You want to lay in bed and watch television with me? No. Come now. We were just getting to be good friends. Are you willing to ruin our budding friendship because you want to lay in the bed and watch television with me? Look, I just come to ask for a favor, okay? Well, you can ask me that favor while laying in bed with me, can't you? I guess I could. Then lay in the bed with me, or else I'll castrate you, and won't that just ruin everything? Fine. Tell me a story, gent. Why is it that you've come to my abode on this day? Well, you see, I have this friend, and he's got a problem, and it's a pretty... Hold on. Continue. Well, my friend Tito, I think he snapped, you see, because he comes to my house this morning, and he takes me over to his car, and he opens up the trunk, and what's inside the trunk is his girlfriend. And she's dead, and he stabbed her I don't know how many times. This Tito fella sounds like a real psycho. Sounds like someone I can get along with. Continue. Anyway... Tito comes to my house all panicky, saying how he's in deep shit and so on and so forth. And he needs to get rid of the body, and he needs my help to get rid of the body, so... Can you get rid of the body? What are you asking me? We, you and me, have this friend, JJ. And uh, JJ tells me that you have these dogs. You see, and... These dogs can eat up the body and digest any kind of forensic evidence that those fucks on CSI or Court TV might dig up. Uh, so that is what you are asking me? Yeah, that's right. Tell me, what is the name of this girl? Esmeralda. Of what nationality is she? I don't know. She's... She's Mexican, I guess. I guess she's Mexican, Spanish, whatever the hell they want to be called, I don't know. Very good. My dogs do enjoy the taste of Latino women. Especially with hot sauce. Friend, I don't want to know the specifics, okay? I just want to know if you can do it. Of course I can do it. I relish the opportunity to give my dogs a treat. So... The answer is yes? Lad, she's as good as eaten. Tell me, what day is today? It's Monday. Unfortunately, you were mistaken, for today is Queenox. Queenox? What is that, a Jewish holiday? Wrong. Perhaps I should explain to you exactly the concept of Queenox. Well, you see... In any given two-week period, there's not actually 14 days, for there is a 15th day. That day is called Queenox. People live out of Queenox like any other day. They go to work, they watch TV, they fornicate. The only difference between a Queenox and any other day is that at the end of a Queenox, any memory of that day is wiped out by technologically advanced mass memory erasers. Anything that has happened on that day has ceased to exist. Almost as if it never happened. As if it was a dream. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Mainly because this is your first memory of a Queenox. Any other Queenox that has happened in your life has ceased to exist. And therefore you would have no memory of such an event. Well, 
If that's the case, how do you know we're living in a day that we won't remember? Because I found a way to beat the mass memory erasers. It's fairly simple, really. All you have to do is get some saran wrap, soak it in cooking oil, and then wrap the saran wrap around your head before you go to bed. Most people think I'm crazy. And if people think I'm insane, they're entitled to their own opinion. Well, if that's it, I think I'll be going now. But friend, don't you want the tour? The tour? You did like the look of my house, did you not? It's all right. Then you shouldn't object to receiving the grand tour. Come along with me. Look, I haven't got much time, all right? I gotta get going, man. Oh? Yeah. When you refuse something as courteous as a journey through the place where I live, it insults me. It was bad enough you refused the red robe licorice that I so kindly offered you. So take the tour, or I just may reconsider my decision to help you. Christ, man. Do not be a bastard. If there is one thing I despise, it is bastards. Shit. Fuck. All right, fine. I'll take the tour. That is a wise decision. <laughs> in there. <coughs> Was it you? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. I'll show you the backyard instead. Let's go. This is where it all happens. What do you think? I think it's a fucking horror show, man. The result from years of activity. I remember the first time I was privileged enough to watch the hounds devour a body. I was 10 years old. A man owed my father an exorbitant amount of money. There he was, bound and gagged, at the bottom of the pool. He had tears flowing from his eyes. He begged for mercy for eight or nine minutes until Papa unleashed the hounds. I watched the hounds devour his flesh, bones and all. I never knew flesh could tear from a man's body so easily. It was quite a sight. Perhaps you would like to watch the hounds devour your Esmeralda. I'd rather not. It would be a pity for you to waste this genuine opportunity. If you witness this, you'll never feel more alive. I feel alive enough already, thank you very much. It looks to me like you have not lived at all yet. You have not been granted that illustrious fortune. Now let's go back inside. Second. Was that an insult? An insult it was not. It was simply the truth. What do you care for, uh... Fruit punch or a cherry cola? Sure. Which would you prefer? Surprise me. Very well. Diet soda it is. I'd like you to meet Daddy's new friend. New friend? This is Peachy. Yeah. Old Peachy's got a history, all right. Old Peachy used to eat up all them bodies by himself. But his days are just about over. 
can't keep them in the basement with all the other dogs because they'd eat them alive. Yeah. Old Peachy here was the best once. Once. Attack, Peachy! Attack! I was just fudging with you. Have you ever tasted the flesh of another man? Excuse me? Over the years I've grown quite keen on the act of cannibalism. Most folks think it's barbaric practice, but I find it fascinating. I once had a friend who was a vegetarian. He was against animal cruelty of any kind. He never understood how I could indulge in eating T-bone steaks or bacon cheeseburgers, mainly because of the inhumane ways they kill the cows to make the meat. So I had a heart-to-heart -heart with my friend, and I agreed with him. I told him that these animals have more of a right to live than we do. Cows did not create the nuclear weapons. A bunch of pigs didn't team up and decide to fly planes into the World Trade Center. Humans did these things. But the fact of the matter is that I don't care much for the animals that I eat. Much like I don't care about all the humans that die every minute of every day. My friend sympathized with my viewpoint and replied that since I don't care about humans, why don't I eat them? He had a point. Think about it. What's the difference between eating a pork chop and eating a man chop? Do we really think that highly of ourselves? So I took what my friend said to heart. And whenever there's a chance that my dogs are consuming a corpse, I always take a small portion for myself to eat. You're fucking whacked. No. I simply do this to remind myself that we are much worse than the pets we clean up after. Humankind deserves whatever is coming to it. We pollute the world with biological waste, and then flush it down our toilets to make it someone else's concern. We pile up our garbage, waste clean water, and destroy our few sources of happiness for pure chaos. And you know what? I'm enjoying every single minute of it. I want us to suffer because, if we don't, how will we learn? And if we do learn, if we ever do, it will be too late. By then we will be history. So it really doesn't matter what we do in this little life, because by the end of it, we will simply be another statistic spoken about in another language by a species that doesn't exist yet. Yep. You know what? We've been talking all this time, and you still haven't told me your name. It's Floyd. Floyd, eh? I believe this is the beginning of a brief but enjoyable partnership. Let us drink. To Esmeralda. To lunch. <laughs> I smile at the unknowing souls who are blessed with the thing they call nonchalance. They who hear, but don't listen. Those who watch, but don't see, the answers are right in front of you. Can't you see? Knowledge is only for those who comprehend and realize. Common sense is not enough, but it's a start. For if you are truly worthy, you will know, and all will be solved. Tito, still here? I'm still here. What the hell are you still doing in there? I need to relax, get my mind off things. All right, well, Tito, it's settled. Those dogs are gonna take care of your problem, and if you don't like it, you're gonna have to deal with it. I'm dealing with it. Come on, Tito. Get out of the bathroom. Let's talk for a little bit until JJ gets back. Floyd, 
Why are you helping me? I don't know. Because you're my friend? Am I your best friend? I never really thought about that. Like, I guess you're my best friend. Because you're my best friend. If I knew that if anyone could help me out of this mess, it would be you. Well, I'm honored to be of service. Why do things have to be so out of order? Why? I don't want things to be messed up. Things are so out of order. And that's the thing. They are in order. They're in just such a whack kind of order that people can't really accept that that's the way things are. So, you killed Esmeralda, and you feel guilty about it. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Mainly because that's what was supposed to happen. That's just the order of things. You could have known that you were going to do it, you just did it. It was a crime of passion. And if she died, then it was her time. You're just, like all killers, the instrument of God's will. You were the weapon used to distribute Esmeralda's fate. And if people think you deserve to be punished for that, then maybe you do deserve that. But if that's the case, then it's just another addition to the countless contradictions that make the world the place it is today. And to explain it would be a pointless jump into a bombless pit, so I'm not even going to try. Thanks, Floyd. That really does make me feel better. You always knew the right thing to say when I needed to hear it. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can you get out of the bathroom now? I gotta take a mean motherfucker of a piss. Okay. I just keep thinking about the way she looked at me. She was weeping. What was that? Can't hear you. I got water running. Thing. Like you said, it was his guilt. You want a beer? Nah, I'm trying to clear my mind. You're only just fucking up again. Yeah, you're probably right. We'll save the brew for when we're finally rid of Esmeralda. Floyd, have you ever been in love? It's like asking if I've ever been in prison. Yeah, you're right. Love is a prison, but it's the most beautiful kind of prison I can ever imagine. Boy, who do you love? I don't love anybody. You don't love anything? I love potato chips. Okay. Could you live if someone came onto the news and was totally saying something like, I don't know, like, all potato chips have been extinct, and that potato chip that you specifically love and share dreams with was gone from your life forever. Sure, I don't love you that much. Okay, how much do you love potato chips? Well, let me put it this way. If a barbecue potato chip was a big-titted blonde and great need of some cock, I'd be happy to fuck it. I don't think you understand what love is. Love is ultimate feeling between two human beings. It's the ultimate key to happiness, really. I will not trade it for all the potato chips in the whole fucking world. Galaxy. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. I think love is what made me do it. Because not only is love happiness, but it's also disappointment. Esmeralda disappointed me. And it's because of the love I had for her that I had to destroy her. She was the one. She was it, Floyd. I'll never get that feeling back again. I think you're dead wrong, buddy. I think you don't know what love is. See, I'm positive I know what love is, man, and ain't all that bullshit you just spouted. Love is simply this. Love is a chemical reaction caused by a deep yearning for sex. Nothing more, nothing less. You see, I thought I felt love at one point or another, but it wasn't the person I loved, it was the sex she gave me. You see, I'm 100% sure that you thought you loved Esmeralda with all your heart and soul, but you're completely confused about the root of that love. 
You loved Esmeralda because of her physical beauty. You didn't love her as a person. Esmeralda was the exact idea of beauty that you, me, and everyone has grown up with. You loved her because you felt you had to love someone beautiful. That's the way you were programmed by television and society. But the fact still remains is that he didn't love her. He just loved the vessel, not the soul. Nobody loves the soul because, to be perfectly honest, what's there to love? Everyone's dirty. No one's innocent, no matter how decent they try to be. It's not our fault, really. We have no control over our indecency. It's just a natural characteristic given to us by God. And it appears we're not living with it too well. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that you can't really love anyone. Human beings aren't still with the belief that we're capable of such an emotion, but the only thing we're capable of is destruction and death. And if you want to say it's all a byproduct of love and hate, go right ahead. I ain't gonna argue with you. I'm gonna go get a cookie. Well, whatever it was, I'm sure I'm never gonna feel it again. Yeah, you're probably right. Sure. Now another one. Sure thing. I just give you the rest of the package. That'd be good too. All right. I want to ask you this because it's been bugging me for a while. No, I said. I mean, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but, uh, what were her last words? Esmeraldas? Yeah. You see, I've been watching a lot of movies nowadays, and, uh, usually when someone dies, they have this dramatic last line that borders on poetry and sadness. I was just wondering if Esmeralda's last words were like that, or if they were just something trivial. No. The last thing she said before she died was, no, Tito, please, you fucking asshole, don't kill me. Please, you fucking asshole. Was that the kind of poetry you were looking for? Not quite. Mm, sorry to disappoint you. No, I'm not disappointed. That's just life. Nothing too spectacular. And in death, you spew gibberish and shit your pants. What a fucking laugh. What are you trying to say? It's inevitable, my friend. Truly fucking inevitable. You need some good fucking cookies, Tito. You're all right. Are you still thinking about that girl? Get her out of your head, man. The train is cruised. She ain't coming back. I just keep thinking about what she said. How she was dying? Not to set me off. It was just an argument. You got a little out of control. She said the wrong thing and you killed her. Shit happens. Not like this. Guys kill their girlfriends every day. You're not special. I know I'm not. Then don't dwell on it. You snapped. For every action, there's a reaction. Or a reaction, there's a reaction. That's the only thing I learned in science class that was worth learning. It was about you. It was about me. What she said. Really? What'd she say? It's not important. Well, if it set you off, I should say it was important. So what'd she say? I don't want to say it will just set me off again. Hey, you brought it up, and now since you've roused my curiosity, you can tell me this. What'd she say? I don't want to say. You tell me. We're both friends here. We're talking bullshit, eating cookies. You can tell me. What'd she say? I... I need to... I think I need to go use the bathroom. No, no, no. Fuck that. You sit here and tell me what she said. I really need to go use the bathroom again. You can hold it. Come on. Set the scene for me. You two were talking. You were arguing. She said the wrong thing and you killed her. Now tell me. What'd she say about I don't want to say. Don't give me that shit, man. This is me you're talking to. You can trust me. I can trust you. Fuck yeah, you can trust me. We're buddies, you and me. Friends to the end, remember? Look, remember that time you thought you got AIDS from fucking your teddy bear when you were seven years old? 
You made me promise not to tell anyone, and I didn't. It's just like now with us and Esmeralda. Now you tell me, what did she say? Go ahead. Tell him. Let's do it quick, please, because I'm trying to concentrate on my fucking book! I just can't, man. I, I just can't tell you. Tito, what the fuck did that bitch say? You fucked her, didn't you? Yeah. That's what she said. She said that you fucked her, and that she loved every minute of it. Well, she exaggerates. We were both pretty drunk, and I wasn't even a half inch in her before I spilled my joy juice. It was an honest mistake, man. It only happened once. I apologize sincerely. Why? Why would she do that? What do you mean? I wanted it to be as perfect as it can be, in the worst possible way, man. But I didn't want it to be true. The purity was destroyed. What are you talking about? I wanted to marry her, man, and have a perfect honeymoon and go to Hawaii or whatever. And then, you know, have children with her and make them grow up and stuff. And, and like make little lunches for them when they went to school, you know, with the little meat parts and cheese in between and the crackers. And just fucking, you know, have that little dog with the picket fence that's white or, or something or blue. I don't know, like that freaking song says. And you fucking ruined it. Hey, she came on to me. She was the one who whispered in my ear, saying how she was all hot down below and that she wasn't wearing any panties. You know, she initiated herself like a common whore. The only difference between her and the average whore is that I got the pussy for free. Shut up, I don't want to hear it. Was that how she hooked you, man? Did she say how wet she was and how badly she needed a good fuck? Because she pulled that line of bullshit on me, but I wasn't fooled. I fucked her anyway, though. But you, you had to get obsessed with her like the weak son of a bitch you are. Was the pussy really that good? I didn't get a real good taste. How was it? I wouldn't know. Bullshit. You two went out for a year and you're not gonna tell me how delicious that ass was? We never had sex. You're kidding me. When we first met, I knew she was the one, so I wanted to keep it pure and consummate the marriage later on, alright? And we were just waiting for each other, but you fucking ruined it. You fucking ruined everything, Floyd. Hey, don't blame me, you fucking prude. It's that bitch's fault we're in this situation to begin with. What makes you so goddamn righteous? What, was Esmeralda supposed to be a virgin? Yes! Well, wake the fuck up! It's the 21st century. Every chick's a slut and the precious few virgin girls that are out there now ain't saving themselves for a scummy piece of shit like you! Oh. What the fuck, Tito? Jesus Christ! What the fuck, Tito? God damn! Oh. No. I was hooked up to you, Floyd. I thought we were like brothers, you motherfucker. Why the fuck? Don't you fucking give me shit up or what you fucking did, dude? Say sorry, you I'm sorry. I'm like a fucking brother. You did that to me. Oh my god, I don't know what he is. Stay away from my girl.
Oh, Tito, what did you do, man? <laughs> Out of the way, fat ass! Jesus Christ. Yeah, this asshole has nothing in his fridge, that's for sure. Yeah, I think you best be getting the fuck out of here right now. Where do I go? Anywhere but here, bucko. Uh, Some good times, so Jack. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? I, I can't believe you killed Floyd. No, 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 no. I had nothing to do with that one. That was all you. I didn't kill Floyd. I didn't want to. Of course you did. How could you not? He fucked your girlfriend. Oh my God. That is the biggest betrayal ever. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. I'm all alone in this. I'm all alone. help you find your way in this world. I'll teach you all the tricks and then you won't need me anymore. I just want you to go! Fine. Your, your wish, wish is my command. Now is the time. You will know I will save you, for I am Kreen. The time is now. I 
understand you're here to be saved. I just want a reason. Kryn will give you all the reasons you need. Please, have a seat. Our Messiah will be with you shortly. Here, have a peanut. Can I share a dream with you? Alright. I had a dream where I was a ten-year-old security camera watching over a long, dark, narrow hallway. And from one side of the hallway came a beautiful woman, and then from the other side another beautiful woman. And they came together in the middle of the hallway and started staring at one another, as if trying to figure out how to go around, but the hallway was far too narrow for them to actually pass one another. Then, something amazing happened. They, they lurched forward and started kissing one another and, and making out right there in the middle of the hall. And then they, then it just became more and more and they started making love right there on the floor of the hallway. And, and they seemed to have found purpose in loving one another. And then it dawned on me. The hallway was a symbol for the Middle East. And that the women represented the Palestinians and the Israelis and that they had finally found peace together. Can you see how powerful that is? I think I can. He's ready to see you now. I present to you, Kareem. It is understanding you seek, is it not? I think so. Take a knee, new friend. I sense uneasiness. Are you afraid? I don't have anything to be afraid of. Yes, you do. You are afraid of the world and everything in it. But you have nothing to fear. Mainly because your fear is an idea and ideas are far from real. In fact, your idea of real isn't real at all. So I suppose that makes it safe to say that nothing is real. Would you assume that? I get it. Allow me to explain in terms that you are familiar with. Are you aware of the teachings of Greenology? No. No? Then you are in for an awakening. People base their entire religion on the battle between good and evil, the eternal fight betwixt God and a devil. But no one ever stops to think that maybe God and Satan are the same being, opposing viewpoints of the same mind, and that is the root of chronology. The war among the angels and the demons is being fought in one place and one place only, my mind. The insanity of the world comes from my insanity. The world's problems stem from my problems, and it gets worse with each passing day. The basic premise of chronology is simple. I am not here, and neither are you. Where we are does not exist. Everything that was, is, and will be is an illusion created by my mind. The true tragedies of the planet are of my own making, as well as the true beauty. I created man, I created woman. I created life. Are you saying that you're God? God? No. I am simply cream. But I did create God. At least the idea of God. The true God is my mind. But what created my mind is a mystery that I haven't uncovered yet. All of creation was done unconsciously. It is the order of things that confuses me. It was not my intention to do it the way it has been done. That was my mind's way of making a little sense out of a senseless world, to make it tangible. One day, I will unlock the secret of my mind, and on that day, the impossible will be possible, and all will be understood. I don't understand anything. I don't understand. I just know I did something wrong. And I... I don't know why. 
Why? Why is tricky. There is no denying it. But what you must get through your head is that this is hell. And I am its only inhabitant. Everyone else is a character picked by my mind to play a role in this elaborate fantasy world. Therefore, your sins do not exist, no matter how horrible they may be. If you don't believe me, good, you shouldn't. Because truths this harsh should never be heard. I just want to take it back. I wish I could. Tell me, what was this thing that you did? I killed my girlfriend. I killed her and I killed my best friend. Do you really think you did that? I know I did. Those crimes exist only in what you call reality. What you must comprehend is that reality and fantasy are both what you call real. Real is not real, but people perceive it as real. What you have to do is perceive fantasy in the same way. Now I want you to close your eyes. What was her name? Your girlfriend, Esmeralda. I want you to visualize Esmeralda. Can you see her? Yes. Reach out and touch her face. Can you feel her? You love her very much, do you not? Yes. Good. Now I want you to kiss her. Are you kissing her? Can you taste her? Yes. Put your arms around her. Embrace her. How does she feel? She feels so warm. Undress her. Feel her breasts. Can you feel them? I can feel them. Pull off her panties. Are you doing it? Yes! Make love to her. Please her. In a way she's never been pleased before. Are you doing it? Yes! Does it feel good? Fuck yes! Love her. Love Esmeralda in death the way you never loved her in life. <laughs> it's more real than you can imagine, is it not? This is real. That is the trick. Fantasy and reality are two separate worlds but they can have the same feeling if you let yourself go. What you call reality is just a universe made up of five senses. Fantasy is basically made up of sight and sound, only two senses. The trick is managing to incorporate the remaining three senses, touch, smell, taste, into the fantasy. And the only way to do that is to let go. Forget it all, forget everything, and give yourself to your mind. I believe! I believe, Kareem, for the first time in my life, I believe in something. Let me be part of Kareemology. You still do not see. You are already a member of Kareemology. Everyone is a member, they just do not know it yet. Regardless of race or religious beliefs, everyone belongs because everyone is one and the same no matter how different they appear to be. We are all rooted from the same place, and nothing can change that. I see. I understand, Queen. I understand everything. That is good. This is only the beginning. Are you ready to be a follower of my teachings? I am ready for anything. The true followers of Queenology are known as Qs. They go around passing the word of Kreenology all across the country. One day, they will pass the word all across the world. I am Susie Q, you can be a Q too! I am CQ, you can be a Q too! Yes, they have all seen the truth and have refused to turn away from it no matter how hurtful it was to learn. What about you, new friend? Are you fearless enough to become a child of chronology? Are you willing to pass the word to the coming generations? I will pass on the word. Terrific! This calls for a celebration. We shall drink fluid from the commemorative cup of the cosmos.
I ordain thee officially cleansed. You may go. How does it feel to be cleansed? It feels new. <laughs> So, you have been cleansed. Now it is your duty to spread the word. So spread it well. May I wish you happy times and a good journey. Oh, that's funny. First time I think I actually feel like a little bit okay, you know. Not just like not emotional, but okay, you know. I'm not stupid. I'm not. I feel stupid around Floyd, around everybody else. I felt stupid around Floyd. Stupid around Esmeralda and another fucking gun. And you know what? I feel strong for the first time in my fucking life. I feel like I fucking know something. Like I'm not stupid. I've never been stupid. I've never been stupid. I am smart. I'm smart to fucking kill that bitch. I'm fucking smart to kill that fucking asshole. And I'm smart to deny you. And the blind. Esmeralda, my love, my amor, God, I miss you. I don't think any apology can ever take away the horror of what I just did to you. Nothing can take away the pain that I'm feeling inside. I don't ever want to leave you. I want you to be next to me, wherever I may go. So I decided that you will be there with me. I decided to take your heart away from you and let your body rot. This way, you will always be next to me anywhere, anytime, your heart, your lovely, beautiful heart. Don't worry, baby. I promise you that I will not break your heart like you broke mine. Esmeralda, you're alive. Estás viva.